Hi, hello, welcome to HRDR Universe and uh, today we are in, yeah, Maldives. So obviously you must be thinking Maldives is a very luxurious trip and that is that side of Maldives where the heroines and heroes go visit and take pictures. So we're not going that side because this is a budget trip that was planned by Gold Travels. Yeah, actually I also thought like we couldn't come to Maldives in a budget trip but Gold Maldives proved it wrong. Uh, by giving exclusive stays, same as this, those stays, but in a budget-friendly uh, local islands. So this is called Difushi Island. So you must not have heard about this island because it is a local island, has a very few home stays rather than luxury resorts. So we have come here for a four-day, uh, four-night stay. So which is a, a budget-friendly package for Maldives uh, for everyone. So we have landed yesterday, we've travelled from Bangalore airport to Malay airport. Uh, we have a layover in Colombo because price again. So yeah, so after that we have taken a jetty from Malay airport and we have reached this Difushi island in the morning yesterday. And yesterday was just like a transit day so we have come here, we have just explored the local beaches. So today it is all about exploring the complete island. So let me show you, tour you uh, the island, like what it is there and uh, what all water sports you can do at this uh, uh, island. So let's first have the very beautiful breakfast that was just presented to us. So yeah, let's go to the table. Uh, watch the vlog till end to know the commercial details because yeah bro, like if I come to Maldives then you also can and we both can only by gold travels. So let's go. So our stay at uh, Difushi Island is this beach house. So, so that's the beach house. So, so that is our resort. So yeah, I'll show you. I'll tour you around that as well. I'll show you my room, like how uh, uh, good the room is and how good the view is. Just now we spoke from there. So that's the beach. So it's like the same beach friend you're getting in the luxury hotels as well, but in budget. And yeah, this is the breakfast uh, for us in the morning. So it was presented like very beautifully. So there were eggs, uh, there was a sausage and uh, there is this roti and I probably, uh, I'm sure that this is some kind of fish because we are in bro, Maldives, so. <laughs> So let me show you my budget stay in the Fushi Island. So this is beach house and yeah, this is a beach front room as well. So yeah, it's the same room offered by the premium luxury resort. Uh, it's spacious, it has a bathroom attached and obviously and it has this beautiful balcony which opens uh, to the sea facing. Uh, it's not like the sea is like right in front of you but yeah, 10 meters apart. So yeah, that's the budget room we got by uh, Gold Maldives and uh, we are in Maldives and I dressed up like I'm in Goa so I need to change so yeah let's change and get into these beautiful beaches so now we are all dressed up for Maldives trip I guess I mean there are enough colors in this but man it is like very hot in here and so we have come to the next beach so it's just right beside the beach that we have already been so yeah it, it is a very pleasant view and like bro Everyone is wearing bikinis, but I am like wearing complete dress <laughs> for this tour. So since it is an island, so it is all covered with beaches. So we were thinking to go and explore this island. So let's go. Let's check the remaining beaches. Now we are going to explore the rest of the beaches. So yes, we brought a Sprite as well and this is $2. So my advice to you people, if you want to make this trip in budget, buy these and some food and uh, in the airport in bulk and bring it along with you. Okay, so then only you can survive in this in budget. Okay, I'm telling you again. So yeah, let's go see these beautiful beaches. So now we have come to another beach and uh, yeah, it has also a very uh, clean and has like beautiful water but I see some birds here but I came here and they left so we should also leave and yeah I decided like without going in the water you will feel very hot in here so we have to go inside since this is not a dress for beach but even though you have to so yeah let's go to the place where 
the K Difushi thing was written. And uh, yes, let's go. So I found an abandoned cycle in this Difushi Island. So yeah, so it's a free tour around the uh, island. So let's go. It has no brakes, bro. So this is the K Difushi sign I was talking about. I don't have any pictures at Isle of Wysak. But here I am, travel this far to have a picture with K Difushi. I had one already. And now we are going to do water activities. So there is another half part of the island which we are not covering now. We are covering it in the evening because it has a sunset point. Uh, we are getting back to the hotel to do water activities. So kayaking and paddle boat is uh, included in the budget uh, of the gold travels uh, itinerary. But whereas what I'm doing right now is a surprise for you guys, surprise for me as well because I'm doing it on my own expense. Uh, so that's an activity I have to remember. So I have to get ready for that as well. So back to the hotel. So this is the activity I was talking about. It's shark point snorkeling where you'll snorkel with nursing sharks also with many more beautiful fishes. These are not dangerous sharks, rather very cute ones and it costs $65 per person if you're three or more. And if you're lucky enough, you can sight dolphins on your way back and I managed to get underwater footage as well. Later that evening, I tried the free water activities that are included in the package of Gold Maldives like uh, stand-up paddling and kayaking. Also, if you have your own snorkeling kit, you can do snorkeling in the beach that's in front of you and can watch some fishes underwater. Hi, today is day 3 and we sat for breakfast and we are all set to go to Tulsudu Island. So the Fushi Island is done. You must have seen my water activities yesterday. I mean the footage wasn't that good but yeah, I did kayaking, uh, paddle, boat, uh, stand-up paddle and uh, free snorkeling because like if you get your own snorkeling kits, you can just go to the beaches and see the local fishes. Uh, there are fishes everywhere. And I also tried shark point snorkeling but I don't know how it exactly went but I'll keep the footage as well. So yesterday it's all about uh, water activities and yeah our breakfast is also here. So yesterday it's all about water activities and uh, they have arranged a candlelit dinner as well in the night. I'll keep a short clip of that as well. So now we'll have our breakfast and uh, we'll proceed to Tulshudu Island. So 10 o'clock we have our uh, uh, private um, boat. So yeah I have to <laughs> say bye to the Fushi Island. So it's a beautiful island. It has like beautiful beaches uh, and the stay uh, here is also like awesome now we have come to uh, Sulsku Island so we have uh, had to check in in Coral Inn the room is getting ready meanwhile we have come to see the surf beach so we recently learned surfing as well I didn't keep the video I guess but yeah I know just how to surf so we'll see if uh, the waves are good enough for us to surf. We are definitely not surfing because it is not included in the budget and it is very costly. So yeah, this is a bridge. So everything is beautiful in Maldives including me. So yeah, let's check the surf bridge now. Now we have come to Tulusdu Island in Maldives and this is Coral Inn. We have just checked in. And Gold Maldives said that it is a budget room, but it doesn't feel like it. It's very spacious, it has a beautiful bathroom. So let me show you the bathroom first. So this is the bathroom. And yeah, this is a decorated bed, which will obviously spoil. And yes, so this is a beach facing cottage. So let's go to the balcony and see like how beautiful it is from here. So the beach is like very near. It's just like you're in beach road in Vizag and that is beach. But this is not Vizag, this is Maldives. Okay, so let me go to the uh, last and let me show you the uh, proper view of the beach, okay? So, yes, 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 yes. Sorry. So, yes. So, this is the beach. So, it's actually a surfing beach, maybe, because like I have seen so many surfers, I mean, not in the sea, but with the surfing boats and all. I don't think like it is 
right time for the surfers to go because it is like peak 12 o'clock it will be very sunny so we'll go in the evening again to see if people are surfing here we know a little surfing but we are not doing here because again it is costly we have come here for a budget trip so we'll do it in budget itself so yeah let me get some rest because it's sunny and no one will go around 12 to 2 in Maldives because nothing will be there you have to just go into the beach and it will be very hot so evening we'll go again out and let me show you what I'll do in the evening we are in Bikini Beach and I'm not showing you Bikini's because this is uh, like a family page there. So yeah, but anyway I'll show you tomorrow because like, <laughs> so there were already people there. But right now we are not going that side, we are going this side because there is a sea walk kind of thing. You can go uh, till the middle of the sea. Uh, so yeah, let's go there and uh, let's see that. And we have a sunset point as well which we are going today itself in some time. So we have to go there quick, took some pictures and then we have to go to the sunset uh, beach. Okay, let's go. We have come to the sea walk, so this is the sea walk. It's very far actually, but I have to go. Okay, I'll go. There, there is something at the end, I guess. So uh, let us see. So let's go. We have come to Bikini Beach. That is Bikini Beach. So we're not disturbing those people but there is this Maldives swing where everyone take pictures especially heroines so I like will uh, take revenge on them I'll also come tomorrow here and I'll I'll also take picture there but uh, right now we are going to sunset point again so we have to cross this complete island to view the sunset because sun is not here sun is that side so let's go that side Now we have come to Sunset Beach, so first of all see that uh, skyline, so this is what I have seen in Andaman and it is like obviously beautiful than Andaman, so yes, but uh, so before going to Sunset Point, we have seen these just playing around in this field like this, oh shit, they have gone like very far, still I'll go and chase them. I guess bunny hit us, so we have to go to Sunset Beach. We have reached the sunset point, but the sun has already set. Okay, it has its timings. We don't have, we came late. But still the skyline is like very beautiful. It is very dreamy, oh my god. And this is like a sand bank actually. So it is not filled with water. So there was only water that side and this side. And this is like a land area and it is very beautiful people have come here to do picnic i mean sunset picnic obviously so this is very beautiful so i guess our day today is done tomorrow we are thinking to revisit all these places because like tulustu island is like very beautiful and uh, there were bunnies there were cats everywhere and it's not like Bikushi island where water sports are there only surfing is there because like surfing is a major activity that is happening here the waves are like very uh, probable for uh, surfing and all. So good morning, this is day 4 of uh, Budget Maldives trip. So we are still in Tulushdu Island and today it is for exploring Tulushdu Island completely. So I am thinking to roam around the island and show you the island. It's actually a small island but it is very famous because of the Coca-Cola factory that was uh, established here in 80s so we'll go there it's actually very unique and i'll tell you why it is unique there so in between we have come to this uh, football ground so it's very beautiful uh, football ground so now we'll go back to uh, the coca-cola factory and uh, let's check if they uh, permit us or not so yes going to coca-cola factory Now we have come to the Coca-Cola factory, okay, I guess the uh, photos and videos are not allowed here but still we are doing because of the vlog. So let me tell you the history, not history, that the uniqueness of this uh, thing is, this is the only Coca-Cola factory uh, in Maldives obviously, so which uh, like distributes all the aerated water to uh, 
uh, Maldives, uh, the whole country, and also it is the only factory in the complete whole world which uses desalinated water to prepare the Coca Cola. So it's like uh, because like everywhere it is only salinated water, so they desalinate that water and they use that in their drinks. So it like uh, it tastes a little different to be honest because yesterday I drank a Coca Cola uh, in uh, nearest shop and it tastes a little bit different. It's not like too sour, too uh, sweet. It's a little bit I don't know. It's a unique taste. So yeah, that's the history of this fact factory. And uh, so because of this and this huge factory, sometimes this island is also called as uh, Coke's Island. Okay. So yeah, that's the history of this Coca-Cola factory. And right now we'll go to some other place and uh, let me tell you about that history as well. Okay. Let's start off by. So this is the last part of the island. So this is called Dream Beach and it is very famous for sunsets because like it is uh, lying like just beside the sunset point we went yesterday. So that's why we are not going to that place. Instead we came to this place to do snorkeling and all. We have our own snorkeling kits. So that's it. That is uh, Tulushudu, sorry, Tulushudu Island because uh, uh, the other part is just the uh, uh, jetty where the ferries come and take us to different islands. So our tour I mean, uh, in Maldives is almost done because tomorrow morning we have a, a ferry from here to Male Airport and from Male we are going back to our base which is Bangalore. So that's the budget trip you can do in Maldives and yes, uh, there are like crazy experiences. I uh, have a chat with some of the foreigners who are like pro surfers and uh, I, as I told you like this island is for surfing people only and uh, the stay was like very good it's budget it's spacious it's luxurious it's everything uh, but in budget so i'll make sure i'll uh, show i'll tell you the commercial details by this end of the night uh, at a stretch so that you can understand like how budget it is and uh, what is maldivian rufaya what is dollar what is the conversion rate and all so make sure you check the next part of the video to know the commercial details and then you can plan a budget Maldives trip with gold Maldives. Okay, so yeah, let's go into uh, the beach and snorkel. Simple.